PRG booth with Trish. Now you guys are introducing a completely new lighting technology. It isn't just a new light, it's a new technology. And I'm hearing that you can win some awards for that too. Yeah, we are. Um, you know, it's not an inherently new technology. It's still LED driven, but we're approaching it in a little bit of a different way. Uh, there's basically two components to an LED. You have a, a blue pump and you have a phosphor base. The phosphor base is the thing that gives you your white light quality, your color temperature, things like that. Those two elements are encapsulated into a diode and, and fashioned into panels. That's the most common approach to it. But what we do is we separate the phosphors, um, remote phosphors as we call it, and we're able to apply it to substrates. So our fixtures employ the blue LED and employ the phosphors painted onto substrates and it gives us a couple of advantages over the traditional technology, but inherently it's still LEDs. So now with this, are you able to achieve a, a greater CRI rating then? Yeah, um, part of it is we're dealing with a larger uh, sample population. Instead of taking little pinpricks of phosphors and applying them into these diodes, we're dealing with a much larger area. So any small variance that might be happening on the microscopic level is washed right over because we're averaging it. Very good. Now you've got two different applications with this. Tell us about those. Yeah, um, two form factors that we're dealing with and two very different types of light. Uh, this guy right here is the True Color Photon. This is really handy for the guys on, on the run. It's DC driven, double anodized fixture, no flicker, high speed shooting friendly, IP66 rated. So I like to say that you shouldn't put it into the bucket of water, but you can dump the bucket of water on top of it. But it really is just kind of an open face par equivalent. Use your barn doors, cut your light, nice little source. A very handy little source for that fine detail when you need a very high CRI of 97. Our coverage of NEB 2012 is brought to you by Cinebate, tools for filmmakers and photographers. Della Luce, apparel for filmmakers. Zeiss, we make it visible. Now what about for Studio York? Yeah, studio work. Um, this is our True Color HS. We actually debuted this here at the show. Um, I'm really happy to say that we actually won three awards. So we got the TV Technology Black Diamond. We also won the Mario Award, which is really prestigious. And we also got the Broadcast Engineering uh, Top Pick. That's incredible. Now tell me why it's getting this. What, what are What's making well, everybody like I was excited? Saying, when, when we're dealing with these panels, this is a panel from the, the HS, by the way. Um, when we're dealing with these panels, we're able to saturate it at a level that you can't do when you're dealing with small sample populations. So we can just literally just blast this thing with blue light and let it illuminate in a 360 incredibly soft field with uh, unprecedented light volume. Uh, what we're able to achieve, a 400, a 400 watt power supply is equivalent to a 4,000 watt soft light. It's incredible. That's a great efficiency. It's great efficiency. It's 10 to 1. So we're looking at an LED fixture that can compete with a KinoFlow Image 80, and we're looking at something that can compete with a 4K zip light. Great. Now, what's going to be the pricing of on a light like this, and what kind of availability do you have? Well, we're in manufacturing right now, which is fantastic. We are working with a number of dealers. So ultimately, the, your pricing model is going to come from a dealer network. But we are, MSRP is targeted at the moment at 3500 now, 3,500 for a uh, 4,000 watt equivalent in, this, in a system like this is actually very incredible. Yeah. Uh, now, you're, you're working with a tungsten base right here. Is there going to be any plans for a daylight? Yes, and actually, that's a big thing to consider in terms of the pricing model because these phosphors are absolutely interchangeable. It's not the fixture itself that's causing your quality of light, it's this removable panel. So, I can take out a tungsten and put in a daylight, take out a daylight, put in a blue green for green screen work. And in terms of uh, technology and the evolution, wow, are we evolving fast. The technology that you buy in 2012 and the phosphors that are available in 2016 are interchangeable. So your investment now is something that will be applicable for years to come. And the color temperatures that we can achieve in the coming years are something that will apply. So what excites me about it is because I've always been looking for an HMI, uh, something that can compete with HMI on an affordable level, something that you don't have to worry about hot striking and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. And so to have have a light like that, that you know it's competing at that 4,000 lum or 4,000 watt output is very incredible. Our coverage of NEB 2012 is brought to you by Kessler, 
innovative tools for filmmakers. Lettuce Direct. It's better with lettuce. LettuceDirect.com. Next light. Get lit. What's uh? What pricing might be for phosphorus, or, or do we know what it would be? These are probably going to be about 150 a panel. It does depend on the chemical blend that we're looking at. Uh, we can manipulate them to be low blue. We can manipulate them to be cutting off a little on the infrared spectrum. We can manipulate them to be, like I said, blue screen or green screen oriented. And of course, a lot of this is kind of looking at the, the free future development of the phosphor, but it becomes a little bit of a sliding scale. Does, does uh, the color intensity or does the light intensity change when you change colors? Or is it always around that 4,000 mark? Um, it is always around that 4,000 mark, but there is an efficiency ratio because of the, the inherent blue pump. So our daylight, we get a little bit more light out of our, than our tungsten. And Which is good because you always, in that scenario, you usually want to have more output. Yeah. Yep. Very good. Well, thanks so much, Trish. You're so welcome. Where can people go to find out more information? They can go to PRG's website or prgtruecolor.com, and that's true, T-R-U, color.com. Thank you. You're welcome. Stay tuned for more coverage fresh from the floor.